Here's how to share a photo album on your iPhone. Now, if you have your iPhone and you have a certain photo album that you want to share, maybe with friends or family, I'll show you how to do it. Let's open up the Photos app here, and I tapped on Albums at the bottom right. Now on here, you can see basically I have my albums and shared albums. Let's say I tap on a specific album, this one called Family. I have a couple different options to be able to share it. I can tap the three dots at the top, right? I can hit share photos. The caveat to this is it will choose all of these photos in this album and I can text them, email them, copy, I can add them to a shared album, all of this stuff. However, this is different from a true shared album where other people can contribute to that album and see in real time as you add photos to it. To do that, we're going to actually hop out of here and open up our settings and tap your name at the very top. Now on here, let's tap on iCloud and then photos. Well, we just want to scroll down. You can see at the very bottom under albums is shared albums. If you have this toggled off, you cannot create any new shared albums. However, just make sure that is toggled on. After you've done that, let's open up the photos again here and we'll go back and we'll tap the little plus at the top left here and then hit new shared album. And just like that, I can add a shared album called say family. I can hit next. And then under two, I can basically just invite whoever I want. Keep in mind, this is a text message. So you can go through and text the specific people. They'll get that text, they'll be able to click on it and then automatically join that shared album. And just like any other album after you've created it, you can just open it up on any of these shared albums. You can open them up. You can see exactly who's sharing them with you and you can tap on them. You can tap the little plus here if you want to add new photos to it, all of those different things and everybody will be able to see them in real time as you're adding them. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.